Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com In today's material we'll discuss why cats, at least some cats, get quite upset when you touch their paws. In fact, some cats get mad when you even make an attempt to reach for their paws. They'll hiss, bite, scratch, pin those ears back, yeah, not happy campers. Today we'll talk about why this occurs, this angered state. And on the other hand, we'll briefly touch on the fact that some cats are totally cool with this whole thing. It can be a mixed bag with some rather stark extremes. However, before we break it all down and attempt to make heads or tails of everything, let's take a look at today's topic overview. Cats dislike having their paws touched because they're full of nerve endings, making them highly sensitive. Older cats may have joint issues, and rescue cats may have bad experiences with the contact. If the cat's paw is injured, touching the pad may even be painful. This is also true if you handle the cat too roughly or apply unnecessary pressure on its paw. Of course, every cat has its own personality, so it may just dislike the feeling itself unless it's trained from a young age. So, it really all comes down to the overall health of your cat, the paw or claw health of your cat, the age of your feline, and just your cat's overall personality as a whole. Some of these factors can be clustered together and some can be singular. Right out of the gate, we'll just say that in the vast majority of cases where cats get on the defensive if an owner attempts to make a move for the paws, an actual injury is not the issue. While that's not to say that paw and claw injuries do not occur or can occur, because of course they can, but far more times than not, it's not injury related. And before we get rocking and rolling today, hello viewers, howdy, <laughs> how's everybody doing out there? A quick shout out to everyone here in Felineville. We love you all. SeniorCatWellness.com is simply not possible without each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your support. We are truly grateful. Now about those paws. Why do some cats get mad when you touch them? Well, let's crack the code today, shall we? Let's get started. One of the core reasons why some cats get on the defensive if you touch or even attempt to touch their paws is because paws are the defense. Outside of teeth, the paws and claws are really all a cat has, so they need protection. Even if your cat loves you, hey now, don't mess with my defense system. And you know, that's a logical reason, right? No one wants to have their defenses removed. If your cat is in good overall health, has good paw and claw health, is of a youthful and vibrant age, yet still gets mad when you touch the paws, you can all but label it as your pet getting defensive because you're trying to meddle with their defenses. In respect to those other reasons that we've given a courtesy glance to, let's now explore them in a bit greater detail. We'll begin with sensitive paws. Cats have a large variety of nerve endings in their paws, and for quality reasons. Paws allow a cat to detect vibrations, feel temperatures, examine different textures, feel pain, and feel movement shifts on whatever surface they're on at any given moment. When all of these important factors and qualities are taken into consideration, touching your cat's paws can simply cause your cat to feel uncomfortable and uneasy. While you're probably just being lighthearted and trying to engage your cat in a fun and playful manner, your furry pal will likely feel very annoyed. And depending on sensitivity, even some light pokes at the paws can hurt. This is one of the reasons why your cat could react in a very negative way. The next reason for a possible negative reaction involves injury. If your cat is in pain, then touching the paw can result in an extremely defensive posture. Attempting to rub or touch the problem area directly can elicit an angry response, not to mention causing existing discomfort to likely worsen. While attempting to diagnose a paw injury can be almost impossible, for the reasons we're discussing right now, Keep a close eye on your pet, not only on the paw in question, but also your cat as a whole. Watch for limps and signs of trouble walking, but also watch for changes in general behavior, such as lethargy and a stark break from routine. We encourage you to take your cat to the vet if the situation doesn't rectify itself over the course of several hours. Additionally, watch out for swelling. If your cat's paw is almost double the size of the others, act fast. The sooner your cat receives medical care, the sooner your pet can properly be properly diagnosed and properly treated. Another potential reason for a negative response when touching or reaching for the paws is due to past trauma. Did your cat have an owner before you? If so, your pet could have had a series of traumatic experiences. 
If your pet was hurt, then your feline could associate any form of paw touching with a negative experience. And therefore, you could find yourself on the receiving end of a negative experience due to your cat's prior negative experience. The next potential cause for distress and anger could be due to rough handling or rough play. If you were to randomly grab your cat's paw or apply pressure to the paw during an already excitable experience, your cat could lash out in an instant, especially if your cat is already in a bit of a mood due to the rough housing that is taking place. Unlike dogs, too much aggressive contact can either cause a cat to simply just run away or stay and fight back. When it comes to our next reason, well, our next reason is really just no reason at all. Why does your cat get upset when you touch their paws? Well, it's simply because they just don't like it. Your feline could just have a serious dislike for anyone touching their paws. It's not a health concern, a negative past experience, pain in the paws. It's just a personal preference. This is more about personal space. Some cats will be more than happy for you to get close, just, hey, not that close. And the final reason that we'll address today as it relates to why cats get mad when you touch their paws involves old age. Senior cat wellness in the most literal sense. If your cat is old and a bit unwell, especially as it relates to joint health, they just want their paws left alone. Stiff and inflamed legs can already make walking difficult. And those paw pads? They just don't have the same padding they once did. Chances are your cat is just trying to protect what they have left at all costs. If your cat gets upset, old age and a tired body could be the reason. So, the next part of the equation is a bit easier in terms of the reasons because they're all cool. How about that? <laughs> they're all happy reasons. Less stress for you and less stress for your cat. You can touch your cat's paws and get the purrs rather than some claws to your hand, right? So let's take a quick look. I bet we can race through these like Usain Bolt during his Olympic glory days. First up is well socialized. Your cat is a professional. They're used to your love. They're used to your attention. <laughs> Learn the ways of the world of a loving and trusting home from a very early age. Your pet is used to the attention and being handled. There is essentially not much off limits in terms of petting because your cat has developed 100% trust in you over the course of many, many years. You're not going to harm those paws, so there's no reason to get defensive. You could also label this section as trusting or complete contentment. And on the personal side of life, this has been the case with most of my cats. They really don't care. <laughs> they don't care at all. They trust me. They're too busy yelling at me for attention and treats. I guess that's how you know you've won, right? <laughs> In respect to this specific subsection, uh, yeah, not, re not really, no. Unless uh, you think something is wrong or you feel the need to clean your cat's paws, especially if you are seriously fearful of a harmful substance on the paws, even something like trimming your cat's nails can be a problem, and while trimming will leave them less likely to scratch furniture, the carpet, and other areas of your home, this can be done by a professional. And if it can be done by a pro, we recommend it. Nail trimming is one of those things that can go south and go sour in a great big hurry, especially if your cat gets mad. And this can cause bad cuts to your cat's nails if they pull away real quick. Jagged edges, you know how that, yeah, just, yeah, it can be bad. Uh, it can be also be a mess. So this is why it's all, it's just best left to the pros if, if it's not left alone entirely. Unless your cat is 100% cool with you touching their paws, as we've mentioned, and uh, just being silly and playful and it's all good fun, just leave the paws. It's just leave them alone. Leave well enough alone. There's no reason to make your cat annoyed and anxious, and there's also no reason to put your hands and forearms in the line of fire if your cat is extremely, extremely defensive. And on that note, that will close the door for the video portion of today's material. However, if you would like more info regarding paw pads and why some cats don't just, they don't think too much of folks touching them, we do encourage you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. At the conclusion of this presentation, there you will find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to everything we've addressed today and so much more. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we invite you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, 
We'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.